Hi, this topic is going to be an oddball for my channel. It's not limited to 3D figures and animation. It's not even a tutorial really, it's more like a life hack. Whether you are a game creator, or you are animating for video, eventually you'll need a script. And I mean the hard script. The page with proper screenplay formatting, that can be printed out and is easy to read. Your screenplay is not just a sheet of character dialogue that you hand off to voice actors, it's a production document. Writing the full screenplay is going to help you solidify your big project. It will organize your complete vision and break it down into smaller production chunks so you can estimate your budget, both your time budget and your money budget. The technology I'm showing today is free to use. There's no software to buy. And it's already compatible with probably most screenwriting software. It's been around a long time, more than a decade. I only found out about it this week, so I'm sharing my research. I'll put a link for the free app I'm using in the description, as well as a resource link to find other compatible apps. I'm a little undisciplined when I write, I need to jot down ideas when they hit me, so I use software called Scrivener. It's kind of a word processor and Rolodex in one. Very flexible and ideal for research. And it doesn't impose any structured rules, I can create an entry and later figure out where it belongs, expand it into a bigger idea, and keep working on it. But, as a result, my scripts are a mess. They are half scenes, I will write some dialogue, then get bored and switch to just summarizing the dialogue. I'll leave a little reminder that the real scene is already written in another document. My research notes are mixed in, author notes are mixed in. This is not a problem with Scrivener, this is a problem with me not having a dedicated home to write my screenplay. Now I can be disciplined, I can learn software. Scrivener even has a screenplay template which I downloaded. But I didn't understand how to use it. Also it meant launching another project to get that nice screenplay formatting. Now I'm updating two documents again, and it's the same problem. I haven't solved anything. What I'm going to show is how you can write a script, or write a scene, maybe just work on some dialogue. You don't need special software, but you type it in a certain way, and then it's ready to be formatted by any screenwriting app, even free apps. This technology is called Fountain. It's marked down for screenplays. Not a squirty Bellagio water fountain. This is named for Fountain Avenue in Hollywood, California. The idea is that you can format a script using a plain text editor, so you can use Scrivener, you can use Visual Studio, Notepad, or Email, whatever is convenient, just by following some syntax rules. It uses Markdown, a formatting scheme that is becoming embedded in our online social spaces. I had to take a minute and learn the difference between Markup and Markdown. Markup is scripting, you know this word from HTML, it's the M. When you look at Markup script, the tags are really prominent. The worst is like JavaScript or JSON. It's really not readable anymore. You have to search for the text content inside all the markup formatting. Markdown is kind of tongue-in-cheek, it's meant to be the opposite of markup. It uses tags to style the text, but they're almost invisible. Sometimes they're invisible, they're just context-aware, or you trigger them with a subtle punctuation mark at the beginning of a line. If you use those little formatting tricks to style your posts on Discord or WhatsApp, that's markdown. Fountain is a markdown standard designed for formatting screenplays. All you need to remember is a few rules, and you can type a screenplay. Now I said I wouldn't get artsy-fartsy, so let's just agree that a screenplay is a series of scenes, and scenes contain dialogue, action, or both. These are the fundamental units of a screenplay. Scene. Dialogue. Action. The scenes don't have names, nothing that ends up printed in a screenplay, instead they are labeled by their production needs, starting with exterior or interior, then the location, and the time of day. In Fountain, when you start a new line with ext or int, that acts as markdown for creating a new scene header. Now that interior slash exterior convention is a little outdated, in my opinion, but the convention is to label scenes by location and time, with as few words as possible. Think of it as like a thumbnail, but with text, place, and time. In Fountain, if you don't use int or ext, you'll create a new scene header by starting a line with a period, followed by the text description in all caps. The idea of a scene is to help you compartmentalize the screenplay into producible chunks. I'll leave it to you to decide what that means. If you have a big story concept, and I know you do, break it down into scenes that you can actually produce. Work on one scene at a time, and then another. And another, until you have a screenplay. That said, character dialogue is probably the bulk of the screenplay, and aside from scene headers, dialogue is really the part that gets special formatting, so let's talk about how dialogue works. 
we need to know who is speaking and what they say. All caps, a line on a line, followed by a line of text, becomes a character name followed by their dialogue. Simple and consistent, no colons or m dash hyphens. It's the name in all caps and a line break. The next line is the dialogue. If the next line is in parentheses, that creates stage directions for the character. And the line following that will be the dialogue. When that character is done speaking, add a line break and an empty line. You've closed the dialogue. You're ready to start again. Start a new scene, or start a new line of dialogue probably from another character. You see how nothing is wasted, and there's no extra punctuation, no quotation marks, nothing to figure out. Just line breaks. It's consistent with or without fancy page layout margins. It can be written and read in an email. Anyone can follow it. Fountain will read an all caps line and format it as a character name. But we can force the same character styling by using an at sign in front of the name. Now, the third formatting in a screenplay is essentially no formatting at all, it's just information. It's what's happening. Any text that is unformatted becomes action or scene description. This is just text that says what's going on, so the formatting is left intact. It might be a sentence or a couple paragraphs. In Fountain, we can force the action text with an exclamation mark, making it an action tag. But it should just pick up the unformatted text as action text. That's really almost all there is to remember, just a few typing rules and three tags will format plain text into a screenplay, and you don't even need the three tags if you follow screenplay convention. There are more tags, of course. You can indicate when lines are spoken together. You can add notes and markers, label transitions, and even format a title page. But the idea is to keep it simple, so it is still read and writable in plain text. I'm probably not going to memorize the whole syntax, but now that no fountain exists, I can type my script anywhere, and I can do it consistently. There's only a few rules to remember. The good thing about Markdown is it's open sourced under an MIT license, and that means there's lots of software that will auto-format Fountain Markdown text. You can write it in one app, save as plain text, then open it in another, copy-paste, without losing the formatting cues. The actual margin formatting and fonts and page layout comes from your software of choice, so you don't need to set that up. You'll use a template that recognizes Fountain. Meanwhile, the markdown is almost invisible, and it just magically turns into a formatted screenplay when you need to print it out. You look like a genius. The Fountain website has the full markdown if you want to learn it, it's not very long. More importantly, it lists a bunch of apps that read Fountain Markdown on all platforms, some paid, some free. There are even plugins for WordPress and similar web tools. I'm using an app called Beat, it was free on Apple's App Store. As you can see it also has this sidebar that lists all the scenes, sections, and synopses. These are Fountain tags I didn't tell you about, but they exist. Beat has some worthwhile options like this card view and the ability to sort a script by character, jump to any scene on a timeline bar. That's a lot of work for a free app that's why I want to give them a shout out, but my main purpose of using Beat is to convert Fountain Markdown to a professionally formatted screenplay, which can be printed or saved as a PDF. I didn't set out looking for screenplay software, remember that the whole point of Fountain is to be able to write scripts with any writing tool. I probably won't stop using Scrivener. But, by following the Fountain syntax I won't need to reformat the text. Just copy-paste it into a screenwriting app like Beat to print it out. Now there are plenty of you saying, who is she kidding she never sticks to a script? And yes, I agree, it's bad. This is definitely the main thing I need to take more seriously. What's more, I need to learn this script thing because, technology-wise, while I think I'm ready to animate with actor voices, I'm not ready to communicate with professional actors. They would not be impressed by my mad scientist, self-serving, half-assed production standards. Before I can move to the next level, before I can work with professional voice actors, before I embarrass myself, script writing is just another technology that I need to learn. That's why I think this topic is relevant for my channel. I'm Wet Circuit, you have been watching Cutscene Artists. As usual I hope you learned something. I learned something, and that's why I'm sharing it. If you got this far could you give me a like, maybe leave me a comment? I don't monetize or simp for sponsors, so I'm in it for the likes and comments. Tell me what you're working on. Whatever you are making, I want to hear all about it. Then get to work on that big project, your anime series, your epic movie, your life-changing screenplay. I know you have it in you, but you've got to get it out of you. So let's get organized and do this. Have a great week. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.